Hello everyone. My topic is on security. The chosen topics are personal security and data security. These are the security types. Physical security, personal security, operation security, communication security, network security and information security. Personal security. My, uh, my chosen topic is personal security. Personal security is a general condition that occurs after adequate efforts are taken to deter, delay and provide warning before such possible crime. If such warning occurs to someone assistance and prepare for the possibility of crime in a constructive manner. Personal security aims to protect people from physical violence, domestic abuse or from predatory adults. Personal security steps. First of all, we have to check a firewall. We should protect our files or data with passwords. Regularly, we should pack up our files. Avoid, uh, we should avoid opening emails from unknown senders. We should stick to reputable websites. We should keep our antivirus up to date and we should all be keep all sensitive information secure. Why do we need a security policy? Three, there are three reasons. To inform users, staffs and managers of their obligatory requirements for protecting technology and information assets. To specify the mechanisms through which these requirements can be bent. To provide a baseline from which to occur, configure and audit computer systems and networks for compliance with the security policy. Then, the another topic is data security. Data security is uh, not a big thing, it's a small thing about protecting our data. Data security refers to the protective digital privacy measures that are applied to prevent unauthorized access to computers, databases and websites. Data security also protects data from corruption. Data security is an essential aspect of IT for organizations of every size and type. Data security is also known as information security or computer security. Why data security? Organizations around the globe are investing heavily in information technology, cyber defense capabilities to protect their critical assets. Whether an enterprise needs to protect a brand, intellectual capital and customer information or provide controls for critical infrastructure, the means for incident detection and response to protecting organizational interest have three common elements called people, processes and technology. This is the information security life cycle. First we will be designing, then manage, monitor, deploy and access. What are the threats that occurs to information security? Many threats occurs to information security like human threats, physical security threats, legal threats, network security threats, communication threats, software threats, social and economic threats and many other threats. This is my theory about data security and personal security. We should keep our data very secured in and uh, protected in every constructive manner. Thank you. Thanks a lot.